What's going on, everybody? <laughs> so I am hanging out on my deck. Just finished a bunch of yard work. Figured I'd pop in a little bit. Enjoy a little Woodford Reserve batch proof. Good stuff. Got my glass already poured. <sighs> See what everybody's up to on this wonderful Friday night. What's going on, Haves? Lawrence. Nice to see you. So, uh, how are you guys doing? Are you guys drinking tonight? Let me place that right there. Nice. Let me see. Is that oh, No, it totally looks stupid. Anyway, all right. So, cheers to all of you tonight that are drinking, and to those of you that can't, cheers. That's literally everybody. <laughs> ah, Johnny Walker Green, thanks for reminding me. So, um, let's see. Yeah, that's funny. I just, uh, waiting for Swami. Oh, I totally misread that somehow. I thought you said waiting for Swami's mom. <laughs> I, uh, anyway, yeah, no, I just popping in for two minutes. I'm, I'm sitting outside. I was about to write a few episodes. I realized it would be a little bit more fun to pop into a quick live stream with all of you and, you know, just maybe drink a single dram here. Um, dude, let me tell you, this is really, really good. Um, if you like Woodford Reserve, this is something that you're going to love. So I'm going to write an episode on that. I think tonight I'm also going to write an episode on, um, crap. Uh, so three more Ardbegs. Um, no, sorry, two more Ardbegs because I just put out the, the Oogadale. Um, I'm going to do the Cory Brecken and then the Ano. And um, what's up, Darius? So uh, let's see. I'm just checking out the, the showed up and it seems like a legit reason to pour a little bit more as in i didn't need a reason but made one up <laughs> hope the audio is not too crappy yeah no it's the way i'm sitting um and the fact that i'm like so freaking close to this thing i mean i'm not i'm not a super skinny guy anyway it's gotta gotta work on that um you would never believe what a long winter filled with too much work and a bunch of whiskey does to your body it's not great so now you got me all self-conscious nah, not really i just um trying to find something a little better man that looks terrible huh all right i'm gonna sit forward all right so anyway um yeah so i was doing mulch today and uh just went and put on a couple of yards of mulch down but outside of that not much going on this weekend hopefully a lot of filming tomorrow it's supposed to be nice might actually, uh, if I can find a way to make it work, I might film an episode out here just because it'd be a good change of scenery. So, so Lawrence, you said you're drinking uh, Lagavulin, right? So I didn't catch it. Was the 8 or the 16? Is anybody else drinking tonight? And if so, what are you drinking? I almost had a Jack and Coke tonight because, uh, like, I'm a little thirsty, you know? Like, rather than just drinking whiskey, I wanted to, like, have a drink, you know? So, but... I didn't. <laughs> it's funny, I always plan, figure that I'll always have a bottle of Jack Daniels in my bar, just if for no other reason other people like it too, but it's, you know, it's kind of a, a good staple to have in the bar, but um, Highland Park later, nice. Which one? Um, anyway, yeah, so it's a good staple to have in the bar. Nice, Knob Creek, awesome. Nika blended, nice, nice. So, uh, <laughs> Jew Man... <laughs> What did you think of the Knob Creek? I'm curious. I mean, Knob Creek is, is a pretty solid, solid bourbon, so, I mean, it's not a... The 12 in full volume. I, you know, oddly enough, I've never had another Highland Park other than um, the 18. It's the only one I've had. I know uh, Whiskey in the Six is pretty... I haven't had so many. Um. <laughs> nice. So since you all cared enough to hop into my stream, um, <laughs> Benji, <laughs> I guess you put that just to be able to say that. All right, so let me show you, let me, just since you guys are all in here and I like to give a little treat to my um, live streamers. So this is a new deck that we just built. It's uh, my table. We got a bunch of furniture that the cushions aren't currently on just because we don't want to get rained on as my yard with some kids stuff in the back there um i'm using a cell phone camera mount 
at the moment. So this is all off my cell, some, uh, my cell phone, which should be about the same quality as the webcam that I normally do. Uh, no, it was not cheap. <laughs> um, I want to say it was like 24 grand. Um, and then, <laughs> oddly enough, all the furniture I got probably should have been about three. We got it for about 1300 so pretty good deal. So. Thank you to the one person who gave me a thumbs up. I uh, probably don't deserve more than that. Got absolutely no no prep, just wanted to hang out. So thoughts on the Bell Veni 12. It is a really good kind of intro. Um, honestly, I if I were to drink that right now, I would almost certainly give it a stock it. I think it's a great one to have around. Um, but that being said, having had some of the other Bell Veni, <laughs> I'm not in California, I'm in Massachusetts, believe it or not. Um, we we're just having some really good weather at the moment. But anyway, Belveni 12 is always a good buy. But there's a lot of good ones that they have too. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, the deck was a kind of a... I don't want to say it was a sporadic thing, but like when we bought this house, we only bought this house a couple of years ago. Um, oh, you're in Mass too. I'm in Northborough, if you're anywhere near here. Um, so like this... Uh, there's... Well, that's the back of my house anyway. <laughs> I kind of like having this thing on the tripod. This is pretty fun. Um, I'm going to have that the sun just framed right here. Actually, oh, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Ready? Ready? <laughs> You're from New Hampshire, huh? I spent some time living in New Hampshire. I went up to I went to college actually in Nashua at uh, Daniel Webster College, which is currently not a college anymore. <laughs> so you in Brighton. Nice. Um, I lived in I lived in Milford for a little bit, and uh, about three years. Family in Woburn, nice. Yep, cool. It's actually very close to my last name. Hmm. Well, that was a fantastic dram. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on for a couple more minutes. We'll just hit ten minutes and, and be good with it. I uh, mostly just wanted to hang out, say hi to all you guys. And, um, you know, just kind of chill. It's such a nice day out. Seemed like a good idea. <laughs> Work done. I've got some uh, episodes to write. Lived in Hampton, but all of my dad's family are in, from Bradford and Haverhill. Bradford? Where's Bradford? I have no idea. There's so many towns in Massachusetts. I've lived here my entire life, other than those, like, three, three to five years or so that I was in college and after college. Um, and I've just there's so many towns in Massachusetts I don't even know I hear it and I'm like I have no idea where that is so obviously I know where Haverhill is but yeah, I'm guessing Bradford's somewhere close to that <sighs> hey thanks for the thumbs up appreciate it um, so what'd you guys think of the Knob Creek video good stuff did I do it justice yeah all right so it's right next to Haverhill um, so in the event that a certain person with the initials um, don't be offended by my my initial impression of that uh, copper pot it's I actually had a little bit right before I came out here the nose was not nearly as bad as it was that night I think I probably just had like a lot um, and things were just off but not necessarily backpedaling just more I'm gonna wait and give it a fair review when the time comes if I still don't like it then then oh well but yeah now I, I've been down the Cape a lot actually <laughs> Fun, fun fact, my uh, my parents for a long time owned, so let me let me actually de de uh, derail for a second. Yeah, so the stock, it, it just feels like one of those kind that you should always have. Like my, my interpretation of something that's worthy of stocking is kind of loose, you know? Like if you think about it, like I, I gave Jack Daniels a stock it, and I do honestly think you should probably always keep a bottle of Jack, because if you have people around, they're used to they're gonna want it and frankly you know in a pinch it's not even in a pinch I mean I would be being disingenuous if I said that I didn't enjoy a Jack and Coke every now and then and you guys have seen me drink everything from you know <laughs> black velvet to uh, that that uh what is the one? crap I for blanking on the name the one that I had the other night um, that like $600 bottle so I, I clearly know whiskey and I still super enjoy a Jack and Coke every now and then so anyway um, Now, I do have a bottle of Larceny as well, and depending on how tonight goes, I might actually write an episode on that too. So my, my plan tomorrow, my wife has taken the kids out of the house um, for most of the day, 
and I'm hoping to be able to just film, 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 film until I'm too drunk to do so. Um, that's what I did with the last like five episodes or so. That's why you probably saw me wearing the same shirt in a couple of those videos. Um, but uh, I'm gonna probably do the Cory Vrecken, the Ano, uh, both from Marbeg. I might actually bust out the Lagavulin, uh, sorry, not Lagavulin, the Lafroig quarter cask that I've had for a little while. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. So um, the Lafroig quarter cask. I want to do. Um, I have a couple of small distilleries that have sent me bottles that I would really like to do at least one of them, so I could release that soon. But they're a little tougher because I like to really highlight like what makes them special. Um, I also have a bunch of stuff from Redemption, so if I were to ab if I were to do a single episode on that, it would open up two other bottles that I can do kind of quicker episodes about. Now I also have this one video that I'm toying with the idea of. I'm not going to give it away because I, I genuinely think it could be like a like a 25 minute video, which I normally don't do super long videos as you guys know. Um, oh yes, let me tell you about uh, uh, the cape in a sec. But I usually don't do super long videos. They're really good for YouTube. Like, they like when you do super long videos. And I think that this is a legitimate reason for me to do a longer form video that I think would be interesting enough. Um, that's even underselling it. Honestly, I think I'm kind of excited to do it. So, um, anyway. So, yes, good. E oh, I'm not sure why you retracted that. But anyway, good evening. Yes, as you can see, the sun's setting behind me. Um, yeah, so my parents own an, or owned an ice cream business down the Cape for the last like 15 years. Um, <laughs> uh, so I worked as both a like snack employee and like ran some snack bars for about five years, as well as I drove a couple of ice cream trucks. And um, that was always really fun. But yeah, it was a good time. I had a, a really good time. I'm trying to determine if my neighbor's outside and if he thinks I'm weird for just talking loudly at, at nothing. Because <laughs> where he is right now, he wouldn't be able to tell I'm talking to his camera. I'm just sitting here like, whoa, whiskey, mm, yum. <laughs> do you ever pair whiskeys with food? Um, I don't. I do love food. Um, my my taste in food is as diverse as my taste in whiskey, uh, meaning literally everything. I'm a little bit less inclined to have fish, but that's about it. I am talking to my whiskey. I talk to my whiskey often. You're so delicious. Get in my mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a food pairing of some sort, but I like to talk about things I know about, and I haven't experimented enough to be able to basically not just, what's the word, um, regurgitate other people's thoughts, essentially. Like, I mean, I could tell you a few things. Like, a burger would totally go well with some sort of bourbon sauce that you make or whatever. Um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, my parents have a house in South Dennis, and uh, it's pretty pretty awesome. I go down there pretty frequently. Um, so if anybody here is watching that lives on the Cape, let me know where you're from. Hey, it's Eric Waite. How you going? How you doing, Eric? So did you guys all have fun at uh, World Whiskey Day the other day? That was a really fun time, huh? I loved, I loved that, just like the whole day all about whiskey. And um, I know a lot of the other whiskey tubers had a, had a really good time. Um, we all really enjoyed everybody's participation, so that was really cool. I got into bourbon first, and by that I mean Jack Daniels. The whiskey I bought was Jack Daniels Black Label, so I, you could probably say I got into scotch first. Um, but I definitely know more about bourbon. <laughs> so your drink, you drink my favorite bourbon, enjoy and have a safe weekend, Gary. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Um, I'm not sure if you mean the Knob Creek or if you're if you mean the Woodford River. Which, by the way, since quite a few have popped in, this is what I am having right now. It's totally backwards. <laughs> uh, Woodford, Re so it's the Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Um, don't you dare mock Eric's dancing. That shit was good. That was hilarious. And actually, you know, you got to hand it to the guy. He didn't. Uh... I'll answer that question in a minute. You gotta hand to the guy. Eric danced for like, for me personally, it would be uncomfortably long to the point where I would be like, all right, what am I doing? But Eric, Eric owned it. I loved it. It was really entertaining. Um, you know, I'm a bit of a video editor. I could probably just go grab that and make a GIF of it, put it all over the world. That'd be fun. Um, nice. Yeah, Woodford Reserve's great. So am I trolling about Canadian whiskey? That is a good question. Um, 
First off, no, I am not trolling. That being said, Canadian whiskeys that leave Canada are few and far between where they're as high of a quality as some of the other whiskeys that you can get. Like, obviously, I live in America. Bourbons and, and um, scotches are all over the place, and you can get almost any of them. But a lot of the Canadian whiskeys, I've been told by my Canadian uh, counterparts, that most of the good Canadian whiskeys don't actually leave Canada because there's a supply issue. To the point where the Canadians buy all their good whiskey and then they export the stuff that's not great. Um, you know, there's a, a good amount of that going on with bourbons as well, except we have, you know, quite a bit more, I think, um, I'm basing this completely off conjecture and, and gut feeling. I think that we probably produce considerably more whiskey than Canada does. Um, and so we're able to export more of it. But, you know, that's kind of it. Like, and, and a lot of the whiskey tubers that are talking to me, they, they say like, hey, you know, I'll send you some good Canadian whiskey. I don't have any of that yet. So <laughs> what's going on, Whiskey Throttle? I'm drinking some uh, Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. So it is 125.8 proof, in case anybody's curious. Sounds like Spotted Cow. I uh, can't have it outside of Wisconsin because we drink it. Yeah. Is that a, is that a whiskey? I've never heard of that. Maybe I'll uh, get in contact with the distillery. That'd be fun. Um, anyway, so I don't really have a valid opinion on Canadian whiskey, I think is what it comes down to. All of the Canadian whiskeys I've tried are, you know, like... All right, here's, here's the rundown. So... Crown Royal, Crown Royal Black, Crown Royal Rye, um, Forty Creek, Forty Creek Copper Pot, V0, um, you know, Seagram's V0, uh, like, things like that. I haven't had any, like, oh my god, Canadian whiskeys, so, um, oh, I'm glad to hear that, Kid Ellie. I, uh, I occasionally wonder if people buy the stuff that I recommend, and it's always good to hear that I didn't steer you, steer you wrong. So, he says that he bought it, the, uh, Canadian, uh, sorry, Crown Royal Rye. Um, sorry, I just, uh, let's see, what does this say? Had Whistle, uh, Whistling Andy Straight Bourbon Whiskey. What is that? Uh, not bad stuff, dry right now. I don't know what that is. Um, never, never seen that before. The same thing happens with wine. The best is produced in small climate. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, and that's it. Crown Royal Harvest Rye is, is, I mean, it won Whiskey of the Year in, like, 2016 for World Whiskeys. I mean, that's, that's a... There might be more whiskey awards than there are, like, you know, minutes in the day, but there's, they're still great, you know? Like, if something wins an award, it's still worth something, you know? So, anyway. By the way, I said I was going to stop the stream about eight minutes ago. Um, I'm just enjoying, like, hanging out. This is fun. And it's nice to see. I mean, like, there's not a ton of people in here. There's 17 people currently. Um, however, there's only eight likes. <clears throat> Oh, and you know what? Just saw my wife and kids uh, drive up, so I'm gonna call it a day. Um, so I have I have not tried Amrut yet, but I have heard really good things, and I know uh, Malton Montreal likes it. So anyway, thank you all for joining me here for a quick little uh, sip and whiskey. <laughs> That's what I called this one, I think. And um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to end this not awkwardly. So I'm gonna do the Eric Waite dance. Uh, uh, boom. Oh no.